Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford Mustang GT. Now this particular Mustang is a GT premium model. It's finished in carbonized gray metallic. It also has the very sought after uh, GT performance package. Which does uh, include a lot of performance parts that I will uh, showcase during the video. But starting in the front of the Mustang, you have these full LED headlights here, as well as your LED fog lights and your turn signal. We get a GT specific front end, as well as the grill with our Pony logo right in the middle there. We also do have these functional heat extractors in the hood. It's actually an aluminum hood. And part of the performance package, you do get these 19 inch gloss black aluminum wheels. It's on a 255 40 Pirelli P0 tire, is a summer only tire. This also has the Meg Naride damping system, which is a magnetic suspension system. There's your five liter badge there right inside. There's also the body colored mirrors with the turn signal and the blind spot system in there as well. And here's a look at the window sticker on this particular Mustang. So we do have the GT performance package right there. Brings the price to just over 65,000 Canadian dollars. Here's a look at the rear wheel setup. Tires are slightly wider at a 275, 40, 19. And also part of the performance package, we do get the performance rear wing, which does complement the back of this car very nicely. We have the infamous Mustang sequential LED taillights, as well as the active valve performance exhaust, and also the rear parking sensors along the bottom of the bumper with the reverse camera right there in the middle and your GT badge. Now stepping inside of the Mustang, we do have an intelligent access door handle. And optional, we do have these beautiful Recaro bucket seats Nice Recaro badge right in the seat. Uh, these seats are fully manually operated, so you see we don't have any power options. And they also do lose the heated and cooled function that you would find on your regular bucket seat. But here in the door panel, we get more nice soft touch leather here. We also do have your power window controls, power mirrors, and your power locks. We also do have one of the Bang & Olufsen sound system speakers down there. And to the left of the steering wheel, we do have your automatic headlight controls with your fog lights right there. Some hidden storage and also the uh, trunk release down there as well. Nice Mustang sill plate that we actually can change the color of, uh, which is pretty cool. Stepping inside, we'll show you the key here. We do get Ford's intelligent access key fob. Uh, we do have the also the uh, tailgate release there, or the trunk release on the key. So part of the GT uh, trim, we do have the 5 liter V8 engine, makes 450 horsepower, and it's paired to, in this case, a 6 speed manual transmission with active rev matching. We can also get a 10 speed automatic, but again, this one does have the 6 speed manual. Starting here in this nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel, you do have your volume controls as well as the adaptive cruise control. You also have controls for your fully digital My Color gauge cluster, and also some of your uh, pony your performance buttons and phone buttons there as well. Now we can scroll through various things in this gauge cluster. You have your trip information, so we can scroll through trips one and two, as well as your fuel economy and tire pressures. Or if we click this pony button right here, we can go through my mode, so we actually make our own driving mode. We have the exhaust mode, so we do have the active valve performance exhaust. So we can go from quiet, normal, sport, track, and also set a quiet start. We have track apps so we can set an acceleration timer, brake performance. We have a line lock system, lap timer. We also have a shift indicator uh, for the six speed manual transmission here. We have launch control. We set the RPM from 3000 all the way to 5500 RPM. And again, we do have the active rev match. We can turn that on or off. We do have the gauges so we can actually configure the gauges. So if we click this, we can show our gauge detail which will give us all types of different measurements and temperatures, as well as a G performance meter. 
And we have the My Color section. So we actually go here and we actually change the color of the gauge cluster. And it will also change the color of the gauges there in the center. So say if we turn it to blue, you see there it does change the color of the gauges. We can also change secondary color, which is the uh, surround the the surround on the uh, the dials there, and also the ambient light, which does control in the cup holders, in the footwell, and also uh, in the door handles and on the door sill. And we can also make our own color. So we actually go in here and cycle through and make our own color here. And we also have the cluster appearance, so we can actually change the look of the appearance, which I will uh, show you here when we do go through the drive modes. And if we click this setting button, we can pull out some different info. Again, we have that trip info right there. We have our driver assistance, pre-collision assist, blind spot, cross traffic alert, the uh, driver alert, hill start assist, the parking sensors, and the lane keep system. And then more advanced settings in here, more vehicle settings, and that kind of thing. Moving in the middle, we do a Ford Sync 4 8 inch touchscreen display. We're in the uh, audio section here. We can view our sources. We have Source XM or Bluetooth, and we also have a CD player, which is pretty neat. We have a digital version of the climate control. We also do have physical buttons down here if you prefer that. And we can hook up a Bluetooth phone as well as built in navigation and various apps like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Another various settings in here as well navigation settings, vehicle settings, also the Ford Pass Connect. And moving down, we do have the dual zone automatic climate control. And we do lose the uh, heated and cooled function for the seats uh, with the Recaro option. That's something you do lose, so just keep that in mind. Push button start, standard across Mustang. We also do have the hazard light, traction control, the steering feel. So we actually change the stiffness of the steering wheel. We have normal, sport, and comfort. And also the drive mode, so we actually toggle this one. We have normal, sport plus, track, drag strip, and snow and wet. So pretty cool there. We have the sync branding, more storage down here, as well as a USB and a 12 volt connector down there. Again, six speed manual transmission, a manual parking brake, which is cool. We also have a Mustang sill plate right up there. And we do have the optional Bang & Olsen sound system right there. Now the Mustang does have back seats, uh, which is certainly nice, gives you added practicality. Although it is a four seater, so you can only fit two people in the back. And it's not particularly large, um, you can fit, you know, maybe small children back here or throw some groceries or something like that. Come around to the trunk area. We do have a popper underneath here. We can lift this up. Mustang actually has quite a bit of space in the back here. We do get quite a bit of space. Uh, note though, if you do option in the convertible top, you do actually lose some height here uh, because the, the top has to sit up there. Um, we do have the subwoofer for the Bang & Olufsen speaker right there as well. But unfortunately, this particular Mustang is a sold unit. But if you're interested in getting one just like this, feel free to give us a call or visit mcvee4.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.